Okay, so let's solve this question together, you and me. So the question reads that the curve C is given by y equals ax squared plus b square root of x, where a and b are constants given that the gradient of C at a point where x is 1, y is 1 is equal to 5, and we have to find the value of a and b. So let's focus on the information given in the question. So information number one is there's a curve, and name of that curve is C. And information number two is the equation of the curve is equal to y is equal to ax square plus b square root x. And the question is also telling us that there's a point. And at that point, the value of x is equal to 1, and the value of y is also equal to 1. And there is an additional information given that at the same point where x is 1 and y is 1, the value of our gradient is equal to 5. And finally, the question is asking us to find out the value of the constant a and constant b. So basically, what we have to do is we have to find out the value of this a and this b. So how can we work this out? So let me write down y is equal to a x squared plus b and square root of x. So we can rewrite this equation as y is equal to a x squared plus b x to the power of half. And then let's find out the value of y prime, which is the slope of the curve. So this will be 2 times a, which is 2a, and then minus 1, which is just x. And let's see what happens here. So b x to the power of half. So this will be 1 over 2 times b times x to the power of half and then minus 1. So this will be b times x to the power of minus 1 over 2 divided by 2. So we can rewrite this as b over 2x to the power of half. So we can add this here. This is plus b divided by 2x to the power of half. And keep in mind that this is the formula of the slope of this curve. Okay? This is the first derivative of the curve of y is equal to ax squared plus b under root x. So keep this in mind. This is a very important information. This is a very important information. So I'll note it down. So the slope is 2ax plus b divided by 2x to the power of half. Now let me get this out of the way so that we can proceed further into the question. Now the question is asking us to find the value of a and b. Okay, so keep in mind that we might have to deal with the concept of simultaneous equations since there are two unknown quantities involved. So what I think here is if we can find out two different equations in terms of a and b and then apply the concepts of simultaneous equations, then that way we can find the value of our constant a and constant b. So let's see what we can do. So let me write down y is equal to a x square plus b and square root of x. And we know that we have a point on the curve where the value of x is 1, y is 1, and at this point, our m value, which is the slope, is equal to 5, and this is the formula to get that slope. Okay? So this is the overall picture of this question. Now, how can we make two equations in terms of a and b. So we know that this is an x value and this is a y value. So we can substitute those x and y value in this equation. So there are four unknowns in this equation. We have the value of two of them and the rest two is a and b and that is exactly what we need. So let me write down 
So y is equal to 1. So 1 is equal to a times 1 square plus b times x to the power half, which is actually equal to 1 is equal to a times 1 square plus b times 1 to the power of half. Okay, so 1 is equal to a times 1, which is actually a, or 1a, plus 1 to the power of anything is always equal to 1, so this is b times 1, which is also b, so we can say that 1 is equal to a plus b. So this is our equation number 1. Okay, so now we have something. We have our equation number one. If we can find a second equation in terms of a and b, then we can actually find the value of the constant a and constant b. Okay? So let me write down the first equation right here so that we have a note. So 1 is equal to a plus b, and this is equation number one. So let me get this out of the way. Okay, now let's think, how do we find the second equation? Okay, that's not a problem because we see the second equation right here. What do you think? So since 5 is the value of the slope and we have the formula of the slope, which is the first derivative of the curve, so we can make up this equation and we can say that 5 is equal to 2 a x plus b divided by 2 x to the power half. Now, what can we do to this equation so that we get another equation in terms of a and b? So our x value is actually 1, okay? And there are three unknowns, a, x, and so we know the value of x, so what remains is a and b, so I think we can make an equation in terms of a and b, and that is exactly what we need. So our x value is 1, as we can see in the quadrate, x is 1. So let us put in the value of x as 1, and let's see what happens. So 2 times a times 1 plus b divided by two times one to the power of half. Okay, so five is equal to two a plus b divided by, so one to the power of any number is always equal to one, so two times one will be two. So we can say five is equal to two a divided by one plus b divided by 2. So 2 is the LCM, so we can multiply by 2 and by 2. So this will be equal to 4a divided by 2 plus b divided by 2. So this is equal to 4a plus b divided by 2. So now we can write 5 is equal to 4a plus b divided by 2. So in order to cancel this 2, we have to multiply the entire equation by 2. So 5 times 2 will be 10 is equal to, and this 2 gets cancelled. So we get 4a plus b, and this is the second equation which we were looking. So our first equation is 1 is equal to a plus b, and our second equation is 10 is equal to 4a plus b. And now, since we have both the equations, we can easily find out the value of our a and b. Okay? So let me draw this line right here. So this is all plus. So if we subtract both the equations, then this b gets cancelled, and what is left is plus minus a is minus a, and this is plus 4a, so plus 4a minus a is equal to 3a. And plus minus 1 is minus 1, so 10 minus 1 is 9. So we get the value of a is 9 divided by 3, so a is equal to 3. Okay, so we have 
the first half of our answer find a and b so a is equal to 3 right now what is left is the value of b so let's find out the value of b so let me write down the same two equations right here so 10 is equal to 4a plus b and 1 is equal to a plus b and you can take any equation as 1 or 2 okay that won't make any difference into your calculations so last time we cancelled b to find the value of a so this time we have to cancel a to find out the value of b so let me multiply the entire equation by 4 so the entire equation is being multiplied by 4 so we get let me write down the first equation first so 10 is equal to 4a plus b and then we multiply this equation by 4 we get 1 times 4 is 4 a times 4 is 4a and b times 4 is 4b and let me draw this line and now if we subtract then this a gets cancelled is minus 3b and plus minus 4 is minus 4 so 10 minus 4 is actually 6 so we get the value of b is 6 divided by minus 3 so b is equal to minus 2 so that's our answer b is equal to minus 2 so now we know that our constant a is 3 and our constant b is minus 2 so this is our equation y is equal to a x square plus b and square root of x so since we know the value of a which is 3 so let me punch in the value of 3 which will be 3 x square and the value of b is actually minus 2 so minus 2 and square root of x so y is equal to 3x square plus time minus will be minus 2 and x to the power of half because it is the same thing square root of x is equal to x to the power of 1 over 2 so this is our final equation with the value of a as 3 and value of b as minus 2 so I just wanted to show you that if you put the same y equation so you get this curve so this is our curve where our a value is 3 and our b value is minus 2 and let me quickly show you the slope at point 1 and 1 where x is 1 y is 1 which is 4.9 so maybe I didn't get the point right but we have an idea that what we're talking about so point C where the derivative is almost equivalent to 5 and this is the slope with the a of 3 and b of minus 2 and tell me that it was not easy to understand so thank you so much for watching again and if you have any doubts any questions you can always drop them down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help and uh, once again thank you and I'll see you all soon on another video